Hey, here we are on another Retro Friday. Here's another video that I did 10 years ago from August of 2008, and it's about how to make a $5 solar combiner box out of easily obtainable materials that you can get right at Home Depot uh, or Lowe's. And this is really, really helpful when you have multiple wires coming in from multiple solar panels, and you need to collect these wires and connect them to two wires going out. So as you'll see in the video, it's only a short video, as you'll see in the video, it does it very fast, very effective, and this is a good way to make an inexpensive solar combiner box. I hope you like it. Okay, here's another video in my series about how to make a combiner box out of some easily obtainable materials. Uh, this will combine multiple wires coming in from your solar panels into two wires going out to your batteries or your charge controllers. Need a couple items. First thing, go down to the Home Depot and buy yourself a hunk of ground bar. This is just an ordinary home light nine position ground bar. Uh, the next thing you need is you need a plastic box. and It has to be plastic and not metal. It's got a three quarter inch opening on each side. To let the wires through. You got the top for the box and you got the screws for the top and you got some super glue. First thing is you need to take this ground bar you need to, and you need to cut it into two equal lengths so you can put it inside your ground box. And I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut those nine position ground bars into two equal pieces of four slots each. And our basic premise here, all we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces of ground bar and we're going to glue them into the bottom of the box so that they're oriented just like this. That way we can feed the wires in, attach them to the screws, and feed the wires out. Now how I do this is I super glue them into the bottom of the box. And you want to first line up where they're going to go because once super glue hits plastic, it doesn't come off. So I'll do that right now. Now, I spared you the the process of gluing, but all I've done is I've taken these two pieces of ground bar and I glued them to, uh, on the underside and I glued them to the bottom of the box. And that's going to that's gonna keep the ground bar firmly attached to the bottom of the box and let you attach your wires. Now I'll take you over and show you another one that I've been using that my panels, I'm running four panels into it and two wires out from the charge controller. Now here is theory and practice. Here's the one that, I've been, that I'm using to run my other uh, uh, things off of, and sorry, I'm, it's, the light's a little dim in here, so I'm, I'm using my flashlight. I don't really think I need it. But you can see this combiner box, the red wires come in, and they're hooked into one side. The black wires are hooked into the other side. One red wire is hooked to the same side, and the black wire is hooked to the same side, and that wire runs right out to my charge controller. And there you go. There's a, there's a $6 combiner box. Thanks. Okay, that's the quick and easy down and dirty method on how to make an inexpensive solar combiner box. It works very, very well for combining multiple wires coming in from multiple solar panels into two wires coming out. Uh, it only costs five or six bucks. You can get all the stuff right over at Home Depot to do it. Uh, there's a couple of retro videos. I hope you like them. These are videos that I did 10 years ago, and they're about solar power. I think it's still relevant right now. Uh, not much has changed, but I'm about to do a uh, another solar installation on my house and as well as a solar installation on my RV. So I'm going to take you through that step-by-step -step basis. Uh, and I hope you liked another installment of Retro Friday. Uh, so coming to you from sunny and hot, hot, hot Central Florida, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, saying I will see you on the trail.